octopus. Sugar cane juice. Okay. Hey guys. hey guys! So today we're here in Houston in the Heights area and we are right in front of Railway Heights Market. So we came here about I'd say a couple months back when they first opened and they did a soft opening just in the inside of the Railway Heights Market. Wonderful. Today we are here to check out the Asian Night Market which is an event we've been to which was at a different location, the Vietnamese Cultural Center off of 59 and Clarewood. However, this time it's now been relocated to the Railway Heights Market here in the Heights. And it is going to be on the outdoor area in front of the building. We filmed a TikTok actually at the original location of the Asian Night Market. And we'll link that below. It's on YouTube Shorts as well as our Instagram Reels and mm -hmm. whatever nine other platforms are out there today. But anyways, it's there. In addition to the, the market today, they're going to have a celebration for the Lunar New Year, mm -hmm. which just took place a couple days back. So there's supposed to be a lion dance at 7 p.m. today, which we're going to enjoy. And we're going to eat some really good Asian street food. So with that so said... excited. So let's go and <laughs> let's check go. it out. So I have my two meals here from the Asian night market. One of them is the papaya salad, something fresh. That's the papaya salad, it has tomatoes and of course the papaya. And then I have something super nice and delicious, fried octopus. Yum! It looks really good, right from the grill, super fresh. And it comes with uh, two sauces. I think that's chili, chili and some soy sauce, I guess. Put it here, have a second sauce. It also has some chili in it. Let's give it a try. Oh, it looks so good. Now let's grab a big piece here. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. And then I will dunk it in the sauce. Mm, nice and chewy. It tastes really fresh, has like a nice charred flavor to it. And the sauce is soy sauce and it definitely has some Thai chili in it. I can feel the burn on my tongue which is nice. I like spicy food and the spicy sauce. Okay, now I will move on to the papaya salad. And we asked for a medium spice level because I remember last time it was so hot, my mouth was burning. Like I couldn't 
I could barely handle it last time. Actually, when you go to the stall, the lady will ask you how much spice you want in it. We asked for the medium one, like I already said. And what is also really nice, she actually gives to you like a little sample to see if it has the right spice amount. Be careful, always be careful with the spice. <laughs> you never know. And less is more, of course. Mm. Awesome. It tastes really fresh. This is really good. It has like little tomatoes in it and it has little bits of shrimp. So it gives it like a nice full like flavor. Really good. Thumbs up from me. Okay, we got all of our food here. So I'm going to dig in first to the Ishan sausage. This is a fermented sausage from the northeastern part of Thailand from Bangkok. It's kind of east towards the um, Cambodian border area. Anyway, Good stuff, fermented. You eat this usually with some chilies or ginger or cabbage. You don't really see this in Thai restaurants, so happy to see it here though. Mmm, it's so flavorful. There's little, I think, pieces of chili in there as well. It has a, a nice bite to it. Mmm. Now, we did get fried bananas. You can see it in there. It smells wonderful. I think there's some black sesame seeds in there. Really good as well. It's sweet, but not too sweet. And it's not super like heavy. And to wash it down, sugar cane juice, got the big grab. <laughs> I like that they're using the paper straws. Oh yeah, that hits the spot. Oof. Thumbs up from me. Hey guys. guys! So we just finished here at the Asian night market at the Railway Heights market. How did you like it? It was a lot of fun. I think the venue was, was great as far as space and also you had the inside of the Railway Heights market as well so you can get some warmth Yeah. When because it did get, get a bit cold and, and like our last video when we were here for the um, opening you know, it was hot and then it turned into rain. So we were not lying about the Houston weather today. It was <laughs> cool. somewhat um, cool. um, decent and then it got super cold when the sun went down. Exactly, yeah. And but... the lion dance was when everything was dark. So everyone was cold, but having that inside outside time was good. You know, yeah, we warmed up inside, nice. walked around. So I think it was nice to have that. Yeah. And, and we had some really good food. Yes, we did have good food. food. Something to just think about is, is the cash situation makes sure you bring enough cash however a few vendors did take credit cards and there were some that even had cash app i noticed yeah. you know one thing if the vendors are watching or, or people from the railway heights or asian night market pricing have your prices on your your booth because yeah. That holds up the line. Parking, solid. We didn't park at the bank, actually. We parked down from the further one, but it really wasn't that far. Yeah, I think it's called 8100 something. Yeah, it's building. like an office building with a yeah. parking garage, but and everyone's probably, parked. Yeah, and they probably can use it at, for like the weekends. Yeah, there's no one here on the weekends. And then the thing is the $5 parking's there as well, but I mean, literally one more minute of walking and you'll be at your car. So if you want to save five bucks, spend it on food, go do that. Well, they're also inside, like the, the vendors inside the Railway Heights market, you can also find a lot of stuff like shirts yep. and they have soaps. And we have plans. a video we made on that. We made a so, video on that. You know, we will link definitely it down we'll below. link it down below. You know, this is great. So I highly recommend come here for the Asian night market, the New Year's Lunar New Year's Festival. It's, it's, it's so pretty cool. Fun, yeah. It's a lot of fun, a lot of good food. And I hope to see more of this. Houston needs more of this. 
I think it's something that involves a lot of outdoor, you know, just seeing different vendors, different things, different foods. But I like that they work together. That's yes, so cool. and this is something say. you don't see very often in Houston. So when you see collabs like this, huge thumbs up from yeah. me. You guys are definitely doing a solid and we need more collaboration, you know, and, and, and that's going to make people want to come out and visit more often and see these kinds of things. So please keep doing this. Would love to see this happen in the future here again. With that said, I guess we'll uh, see you on the next one. Bye. Bye guys.